this is sacrum the peculiarities of sacrum then the rest of the vertebral column is the five sacral vertebra are fused to one another to form the sacrum and in sacral region we can see the primary curvature primary curvature is concave the, uh, the significance of primary curvature is uh, it lodges some important viscerals the sacrum is triangular uh, flat irregular bones which has base and apex and uh, four surface pelvic surface dorsal surface and two lateral surface the base is formed by body of the first sacral vertebra and the lateral mass of sacrum the lateral mass is formed by the transverse element and costal element the lateral portion of the base shows the wing of the butterfly like structure which is known as ala of sacrum the ala of sacrum again divided into rough part and smooth part the smooth part has the anterior margin and the ala of sacrum is related to some structures from medial to lateral sympathetic trunk lumbosacral trunk iliolumbar artery obturator nerve the rough part is uh, attached to iliacus muscle we um, describe the muscle attachment and the other attachment in, uh, in next episode <coughs> now uh, come to the base of the sacrum the base of the sacrum is sloped downwards and it makes 30 degree angle with the transverse plane now come to the surfaces the apex and surface the apex is formed uh, by the conical mass which is attached to the uh, coccyx or coccygeal segment of um, vertebral column <coughs> now this is pelvic surface pelvic surface lies anteriorly and uh, which is smooth and uh, laterally it is marked by four ventral sacral foramina these are ventral sacral foramina four in each side <coughs> and this is dorsal surface which is rough and the dorsal surface has dorsal sacral foramina and three crest median sacral crest intermediate sacral crest and lateral sacral crest and the lateral surface has two parts rough part and auricular part auricular part from uh, the sacro iliac joint which is primary uh, which is plain type of synovial joint and this is sacral canal which is formed by fusion <coughs> of all the uh, vertebral foramen of sacral vertebra now come to the content of the sacral canal sacral canal contains subarachnoid space and subdural space up to the lower margin of the second sacral vertebra and uh, the remaining part of the sacral canal is um, contains the part of cauda equina and phylum terminally now come to the pelvic surface again <coughs> the upper two and half segment of the um, body of the sacral vertebra is related to peritoneum and uh, which is related to the sigmoid colon and the lower two and half uh, segment of the uh, sacral vertebra is related to rectum and these are um, the coastal elements um, coastal elements are fused in the lateral mass and from the lateral mass of the sacrum and uh, form four ventral sacral foramina on each side now uh, the what are the content of ventral sacral foramina ventral sacral each ventral sacral foramina transmits the ventral ramus of the upper four sacral spinal nerve and lateral sacral artery in lateral portion the lateral mass is formed by fusion of mm, the coastal elements now come to the dorsal surface dorsal surface is rough and marked by uh, three crest median sacral crest is formed by fusion of um, spine of uh, sacral vertebra <coughs> and then uh, the lamina of each sacral vertebra is fused with one another and form the um, flattened lateral mass and then we found uh, then the dorsal sacral foramina are founded the dorsal sacral foramina transmits the dorsal segment of upper four sacral spinal nerve then intermediate sacral crest is formed by fusion of articular tubercle of uh, superior and inferior articular facet 
Now lateral sacral crest. Lateral sacral crest is formed by transverse tubercle or transverse process of sacral vertebra. The lateral mass of dorsal surface is formed by fusion of mm, the transverse element of sacral vertebra. Now this is uh, sacral hiatus which is formed by failure of the fusion of uh, the lamina of fifth sacral segment and these are horn like sacral cornua these are inferior articular process of fifth sacral vertebra this sacral hiatus is very important for viva and ospi question what are the content passes through the sacral hiatus sacral hiatus transmits the phylum terminally and fifth sacral spinal nerve and a pair of coccygeal nerves now come to the lateral surface this is the lateral surface and lateral surface has the plain articular surface which articulates with um, each hip bone which is plain type of synovial joint and the rough area of the lateral surface is pitted which gives uh, attachment of some muscles we discuss it later now come to the joints of sacrum sacrum has a uh, intervertebral joint which are secondary cartilaginous in nature and uh, in adult age, which is fused and it has uh, a sacroiliac joint plain type of synovial joint and the modified secondary cartilaginous joint is found in sacrococcygeal joint which is movable in case of female but immobile in case of male now come to the anatomical points of sacrum <coughs> The body of the first sacral vertebra or base of the sacrum is sloped downwards and it makes 30 degree angle with the you know, transverse plane. And the pelvic surface is smooth and which is directed downwards and forwards. And the um, dorsal surface is rough which is marked by uh, three bony crest. And the sacral canal is directed vertically downwards. Now come to the attachment of sacrum. <coughs> sacrum has some important muscle attachment. The ala of the sacrum has a rough part and a smooth part. The rough part of the ala gives attachment to iliacus muscle and um, lumbosacral ligament. Iliacus muscle and lumbosacral ligament. <coughs> the edge of the first sacral body of the first sacral vertebra gives attachment to the lowest fiber of anterior and posterior longitudinal ligament of vertebral column. The middle three piece of uh, sacrum gives attachment uh, gives attachment to piriformis muscle in E shaped manner in the pelvic surface of the sacrum. Uh, <coughs> now, in the dorsal surface, in the dorsal surface there is U, uh, there is attachment of erector spiny muscle in an U shaped manner covered the median sacral crest and lateral sacral crest. The intervening area of uh, the u-shaped manner of electrospiny muscle it gives attachment to the multifidus muscle and in the lower portion of the lateral surface gives attachment to the gluteus maximus muscle and lumbosacral uh, gluteus max sacrospinous and sacrotuberous ligament sacrospinous ligament sacrotuberous ligament and gluteus maximus muscle the tip of the coccyx is gives attachment to the coccygeus muscle and levator ani muscle These are all about muscle attachment. Now, sex determination of sacrum. In case of male, <coughs> the sacrum is uniformly concave. In case of female, the sacrum is flat in upper portion, then abruptly concave. The sacral index. Sacral index means the proportion between the breadth, maximum breadth of the sacrum and length of the sacrum. It is 115 in case of female and 105 in case of male. these are all about sacrum if uh, anyone has any query about sacrum then you can comment in our comment box or uh, post in calosam bd study group thanks everyone